what is up guys welcome back to another episode of the random league selector series so as you can see on screen we are into the 12th episode of this series and we are now focusing in on the Alsvenskan league I believe that's how you pronounce it I probably messed that up but all in all I did have a pleasant surprise playing with this team and uh, it was just great fun to play with and uh, we will now swing over into the squad builder Right guys, welcome back to the squad builder part of this episode. So as you can see on screen, we are using the 4-3-2-1 formation for this team. And it's mostly made up of silvers apart from the bronze right back. And we will get started with the goalkeeper for the team. And we do have Hansen, 84 diving, 79 reflexes and 72 positioning. Being this guy's standout stats. And look at his face on that card. Doesn't that just freak you out? And uh, all in all, fantastic player to play with. I really enjoyed using this goalkeeper and he kept most of the shots out the net, which was absolutely fantastic. So now guys, We'll move over to the left back for the team to start off the defensive line. And we do have Riccardinho, 82 pace, and the rest of his stats are ho hovering around the 60s and the high 60s. All in all, absolutely fantastic to play with. He did have four star weak foot and only three star skill moves. I thought with a name like Riccardinho, he might have four star skill moves, just being a bit cheeky. But uh, 1,600 coins can't complain with the job that he done for the team. So now, guys, moving over to the right, we do have the first centre-back for the team, and we are using Carlson. 70 pace, 66 defending, and 68 heading. Great centre-back to have for the team. I believe he's, yeah, he's six foot tall, so he's a pretty big figure in the game, and uh, just done well at centre-back for me. And now, guys, we'll move over to the last centre-back for the team, and we do have Janssen, 71 pace and 71 defending. Being this guy's standout stats, I don't... Oh, wow, he's 6 foot 4, yeah. Jesus, he is a big guy. Uh, he's the biggest of the centre backs, so he's great with a head-in. I'm surprised that he doesn't have better head-in stats, but all in all, he's done an absolutely fantastic job for the team. Right guys, now moving over to the right back for the team to finish off the defensive line for this squad. And we do have Larson, 84 pace, and the rest of his stats hovering around the high 50s to the 60 area. And obviously, I did have fun playing with this guy. He was fantastic. He made a lot of forward runs, which was good. He was overlapping the midfield and getting some crosses in to help assist the strikers. And I did pick him up for only 150 coins on an open bid overnight. And just a fantastic right back to have for this team. I was surprised that there was no silver guys that I could pick up on the, when I was so in the market I couldn't find any silver right backs to have so I decided to put Larson in anyway and just done a great job for the team anyway so now guys moving up to the midfield area and the first centre mid on the right hand side we do have Malangu I believe that's how you pronounce it and he does have a blistering 88 pace which is crazy for a uh, centre midfielder and he does have 70 dribbling as well uh, 3 star weak foot only 2 star seal moves which is pretty much a shame but all in all was a fantastic player and done the job for the team as well and now, guys, moving over to the middle centre mid for the team. And we do have Bedoya, 80 pace, 60 defending, 60 heading, uh, 65 dribbling as well, which is good. But this guy was always running out of stamina, guys. Like, I, every now and then, just like in the second half, he'd just be absolutely knackered. And he was virtually non-existent in the second half of some games, which was pretty much a shame. But all in all, when he did put the performances in, he did play well. So I can't complain about the job that he'd done for the team. And now, guys, we'll move over to the left centre mid for the team. And we do have Abu Bakari. Abu Bakari? I just said that right. I believe that I said that right. That's fantastic. 73 pace and 71 passing bin. This guy's standout stats. And uh, all in all, pretty good player to play with. And, guys, if you're wondering why it does say that I've only played three games, it's because I do play on my stream and against friends every now and then as well. And they don't count towards the record of playing with these teams. But all in all, Abu Bakari was a fantastic centre mid for the team. And now, guys, moving over to the attacking force. And first of all, we do have Holt, I believe that is. Blister in 91 pace, 73 dribbling as well, being this guy's standout stats. He does only have two-star weak foot and two-star skill moves, which is a massive shame. But all in all, I did find that he played really well. He did miss some absolutely sitting chances that were put on a plate to him. But can't complain, and he was a decent left forward to have, especially with that pace, which was good. And now, guys, we will move over to the right forward for the team. And we do have Neyman, I believe that is. And he does have 84 pace, the rest of his stats being pretty average, all around the 50s and 60s. And this guy does have 3-star weak foot and 3-star skill moves, which is, uh, I'd like to have him to have 4-star skills, maybe. But uh, all in all, done a fantastic job as well. Just assisted the balls to the striker, which was fantastic. And guys, we will now move over to the striker, who everyone must know this year, and from last year is Elk Beer 82 pace, 73 dribbling and 67 shot being this guy's highest stats but all in all, he is absolutely fantastic. He does have four-star skill moves. And guys, as you can see, in the three games that I did play online, he scored six goals, which is absolutely fantastic. Like, 
and only 900 coins paid for this guy. He's probably my favourite silver player this year, just because of the amount of fun that I did play with, like have playing with him. And uh, guys, you will see an absolute cracking goal that I did score from him uh, in the goals at the end of this episode. So guys, that is the team. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I'd recommend that you do go out and buy this team, or just at least try this league and have a variant of this team if you do want to try out different teams throughout the towards the end of FIFA, because uh, it is a fantastic team to play with. So if you did like this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. Uh, if you're new around here and you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel because that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, all of my links will be in the description, my Twitter, my Facebook, and my live stream. So if you go over there and check those out, that would be absolutely fantastic. And I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye.